So I am now playing Michael Alec Rose's Filia on the 1700 Ward Stradivari. and I'm playing the 1654 Brookings Amati in Baroque setup. 
uh, with a modern bow, and I'm going to play Michael Allegros's Filia for the first time on this instrument. So we'll see what happens.
so tell me about the experience of that on this instrument. <laughs> you, you know that my whole life as a composer, I've been trying to figure out a new way of, 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 of turning instrumental music into, into song um, to make it lyrical in, in the deepest way. And I think this, this instrument makes that possible in, in ways that I've never heard before. I'm talking about the lyricism, mm -hmm. the vocal quality of it. I mean, with, with all of the, you know, the double stops and the effects and the dynamic changes, the, the, it's still, you're, you're, every note of this piece on that instrument is singing, it's cantabile. Even when we did really dramatic things yes, as well. Yes, it's, yeah. it's cantabile. Mm. It, it, and that is a very different experience from the Strat. Yeah. Because you know, the Strat is much more dramatic than lyrical. Yeah. What, Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense, and also because from the very first moment, because I have not played a note of this on this instrument before. Right. And from the very first moment, did you notice it was leading me down paths, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know give me yet an absolute retreat. You know, right. it's, it's Mozart, isn't it? You know, yeah. Um, and especially yeah. with this thing coming, where did that come from? Oh, I know, I know. I, I, it wasn't my idea, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's what, I mean, I'm passionate about this. These things carry th stuff within them. Yeah, oh yeah. And when we, when we set them to, ringing. To release it. Yeah. It's the genie out of the bottle. <laughs> but it's also, I mean, I'm, it's, I mean, I'm a very fascinated in how this also relates to, you know, we talked about bird song, but also the fact that there's another song in here. The song of the spruce and maple that this comes from. Yeah. You know, I have this feeling this, I, I don't want to use the word woody as a pejorative, but woody in a, the sylvan quality to it is, I feel that the wood is doing something, is teaching me this, this, the grain and the, 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 the shapes here, the slab cut thing. That seems to be finding its way in there. Yeah. I, I, I think that the, the whole lyrical thing, to turn an instrument into a singing voice is the story of instrumental music. Mm -hmm. And of, of course, Schubert is the, the, the most profound example of someone who wanted to do that in a way that was unprecedented. Mm -hmm. But I think what you're talking about is that the physical nature of the wood, the resonance and, and those holes, yeah. everything about it, 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 it makes it sing. But even it, the fact that what's here is a record of the seasons. You know, there's yeah. a there's yeah, a yeah. there's a, a light yeah. as a light there winter there and there's a hard winter there. It there. Is. there you know. it is. The tree had to go through it. Exactly, and so it's carrying you know hundreds of years of history there, which is I think that's in it too, isn't it? I yeah. Mean, now now I'm thinking of Apollo stringing Dionysus. No, Apollo and Marcius bringing Marcius upside down from the right. tree and then playing the the fiddle. You know, it's all there. It's, it's but that contest was all about who could sing the best on their instrument. Yeah. Not just play the best, but yeah. sing the best. Yeah. And I love the fact that the one thing, the last thing I wanted to ask about was you, you and I in our work together have explored, we've walked a lot together, and we explored the notions of space and silence, and here as articulated by breathing. Yeah, so, yes. Um, yep. I, what, you, you, what you did, it's so interesting, the effect of your breath before the last chord, and then of course you're singing, obviously you're singing on the last yeah. chord, obviously explicitly, literally. It was so different on the Strat and the Amati. It felt, and even breathing felt different. Yes, it was such a different effect and a different meaning. And I, I think it has to do with Dion, Dionysian versus Apollonian, mm -hmm. that something about this instrument is much more rooted in nature itself. Yeah. <laughs> so it's more Dionysus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, in, it's, it's, you know yeah. it springs out of nature just as Dionysus sprang out of whatever and, he and did. And uh, dare I say there's an element of savagery hidden Yes. In so it's, oh, it's, a, it's so interesting that, you know, you would think that a more lyrical instrument would be, would be more tender, but that's not true. No. And, and you know, uh, uh, you know uh, what Nietzsche taught us is that it's the wedding between these two principles that matters most. Yeah. So it's a great privilege to hear it on both instruments. Or, or the moment which Mary Renault describes so well when 
when uh, Theseus realizes that Ariadne has got caught up in this terrifying cult of the forest, you know. Uh, yeah. Gradually, he goes through the forest and he finds bits of animals. He finds blood and realizes this is somewhere he does not want to go. She's the, you know, but she, in the first place, was the, the mistress of the lion yeah. in the labyrinth, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah. So she taught us about lion and how it actually saves us. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, yes, this, we've been talking about chords. Uh, yes. That's a wonderful way maybe to parate with this, is yeah. that the line in some ways is the chord through the labyrinth. Chord pristinely means line. Yeah. It means line. It means a string and it means a line of strings. And it means your heart, of course. <laughs> yes, it does. And yeah. also the vocal chords. Yes, exactly. We sing with them. Yeah. Spelled slightly differently. But we can live with that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter.